open doing animation. The first thing we need to do is to create the drawings. As you can see here, I have a butterfly, a girl, a woman walking. So this is where you can draw the individual pieces for your animation. But we're going to start with the sky. So we click new drawing. The first thing we need to do is to line up the sky with the photo because I'm going to layer it later. So click the camera and select your photo of your landscape. This is the one we're going to work with. We can put the opacity down so it's a little easier to see our drawing underneath. Click the next layer. Now, choose your paintbrush, whatever color. I think I might start with black for the outlines. Doesn't have to be at all, you choose. And put the size down to around two. One to two, so that way your lines aren't too thick. It's entirely up to you. And for this one, I am just looking at the sky. So our first step is just to draw on the sky. It does need to be an enclosed shape, so I am going to go over my mountain and enclose it. That will make it easier when I'm filling it with the paint can. Now, what we can do is I could hide the underneath completely. So now that I'm just seeing my actual artwork, as wobbly as it is, then we want to zoom up and make sure that our lines are enclosed. If they're not enclosed, the paint can is not going to work very well. It's going to flood and fill the page. So you just want to check that your lines are actually closed. You will soon see if they are not. And you just click the back arrow and patch up those lines. I'd recommend checking your lines first because we're going to copy this layer a couple of times before we fill it with color. And then you won't have to do the patch up every time. If you have some messy lines that you want to get rid of, you do have an eraser, but notice the size. It starts on 16 or 17, which is quite big. So you might want to make it um, two, three or four, and then you can erase. Mm -hmm. Now, what we want to do for this one, because we're just flashing the colors, just click the plus plus, the one in the middle. That will copy the exact same drawing. And let's just copy it three times. So now we're ready to fill with colors. So we're going to get the paint can. I'll choose my first color, let's say yellow. And I'm going to fill, click on where I want my yellow to go. But I want my yellow to move. So on each slide, I'm going to put it on a slightly different place. You can see the layer underneath. There's two things you can do. One is click the eye and put your frames per second slower so it flashes to a pace that you want. You can choose. I could even slow that down again if I wanted to. That's the first one. The second thing we can do is click the clock working, the so settings. And you have three frames before the ghost frames. You might not want the three because it gets a bit confusing. You could just do the one before and that will show you just the one that was there so you know what to fill it with. You can use green but just be aware if you're in green screen it may not be seen unless it's on the last layer so just be aware of that. Now let's click play and see how we're looking. There we go, done. So that is your first step of layering. Don't forget your painting is actually underneath, but it is not seen. So when we go to gallery and add it to our composition, it is only the flashing sky, not your artwork. So that is step one.